Hey, this is Ian Westerman. I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com, where it's our mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players just like you. Welcome to episode number 55 of Ask Ian. Today we've got a great question from Scott, who wrote to me and said, how often should a junior player switch rackets? Every two years, new models come out, and there's a lot of pressure to switch frames. Thanks in advance for what you can give me. Okay, so Scott, I'm gonna answer your question, but I'm also gonna apply this to players in general, not just ten, uh, junior players, but tennis players across the board. My, the short answer is no, you do not need to switch frames every two years. I'm gonna give you some reasons why you should look at switching, but just because something new is out, just because it's got fancy new colors and some, you know, tungsten, graphite, whatever, Kevlar, space metal, you know, weave in the frame or, you know, whatever it is. You can tell my, my thoughts on uh, technology. Uh, no, it's not, an, it's not a good enough reason to switch. And I actually did a pretty in-depth video talking about this. It's called, Does Gear Really Matter? Can we link to that, uh, James, down below? You know, it was another Ask Ian episode where somebody basically asked, does, does gear even matter? You know, does it matter if I have a new racket or it's an old racket? Aren't, isn't technique and aren't strokes way more important anyway? So I go into some detail in that video. You can check that out. In my opinion, you're only gonna need to switch for a couple specific reasons. Number one, well, really everything falls under this category. Your frames just don't feel good to you anymore. They don't feel right. Other stuff starts to feel a little bit more comfortable to you. And that could be for a few reasons. Number one, your game has developed. And if you're watching me, it's very, very likely that you take your improvement very seriously. You work hard at your game. You're passionate about improving. And so over time, there should be changes to your game. You should make developments and advancements in your ability to swing the racket. And as that happens, it very well could be that something a little bit smaller or a little bit heavier or a little bit something different will fit your game a little bit better. And especially, uh, Scott, if you're a junior player, I think it was Scott, right? Yeah, Scott. As a junior player, your game is probably changing all the time. And so a year from now, two years from now, certainly three or four years from now, chances are you're going to want to try something a little bit different that fits your game a little bit better. Reason number two if you've gotten physically stronger or physically just more capable in general. And this happens to adult tennis players. It certainly happens to junior tennis players, especially if you are you know, 12, 13, and then you know, 14, 15, 16, probably going through a pretty good, good growth spurt, getting a lot stronger. And so you should naturally be looking for a racket that's a little bit heavier and not quite as light and powerful. And then lastly, uh, you can't find that same frame reliably any longer uh, without you know, going to eBay or buying used frames, et cetera, et cetera. If you're wearing through frames, that ha can, I mean, I wear through frames just because of the way I play, not from throwing them, although I've been known to drop a racket here and there. But um, uh, if you scrape your frame a lot from trying to dig balls out, I, pl I like to play the net a lot. So I'm really frequently scraping my racket on the ground while I'm playing. So I tend to wear through frames. So if I'm playing a lot, then I'm gonna wear through a frame, even if I replace the bumper guard within a year or two. So if your frame is out of production and you're having a hard time finding new ones, frames do naturally wear out over time. They can only flex so many times before they start to lose their, their feel that they had originally. So frames do wear out. So you should be looking to replace your frames if you play three, four times a week every couple years regardless. So if you're having a hard time finding your, finding your frame new, that could also be another reason to look for an updated model. So those are my general guidelines. It's not a good enough reason just because something new comes out to, to upgrade, but think about those other factors and use that as... Uh, Maybe different things to look into when it comes to looking for new equipment. Hopefully that's helpful to you. 
We've got some coaching that I strongly recommend you check out. Just costs a buck. If you're, if you're interested in hitting the most accurate and consistent forehand and backhand ground strokes of your life, we've got a link to that in the, the uh, description down below. If this video is helpful to you, do me a favor and click like and leave any comments or questions you have in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Take care and good luck with your tennis. For hundreds of free digital tennis lessons, head over to EssentialTennis.com right now. More wins and more fun on the court is right around the corner. You'll even get a free gift just for stopping by. Simply click the link at the top of any page.